Prometheus. Icarus. I love a man who takes his vices seriously. Red sunset cigarettes live dangerously. So, how does it work? What am I thinking right now? You want a cigarette. Well, besides that, <laughs> is it words or, or pictures? Tell me what to concentrate on. It's just a feeling, usually. Voices sometimes. Could we scam the geezers at Meadow Heights with it? No, tell them their, their dead husband or the dog that they're thinking about misses them and just wants them to be happy. 10 bucks a reading. No. <laughs> I don't think I could handle an old folks home. They're worse than hospitals. How do you choose someone then? It's like everybody is on the radio, but it's all fuzzy and overlapping. I never really figured it out. You should tell your dad you want to stick around a while longer, just so we can hang out. There's like a million vacancies at the motel right now. I bet my parents would totally give him a discounted rate for the rest of the week. Can you hear her? Yeah. She's really scared of something. But in her head, she's singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I won't I be able to make her face to face tomorrow. Uh, what's a good time next week? Red sun oh, sure, I can definitely make that. Dangerous Hello, thing. this is Joy again. What was the agreed time? Why am I tied up in front of a TV? Where's Katie? When I worked in advertising, I had a knack for knowing exactly what my clients wanted. Yeah, too bad those clients never knew what would resonate with their customers, so now I am stuck here laboring over the medium while the gal behind that cynical tobacco spot gets to write the message. What message? What are you talking about? Let's get started. Do you see anyone else in this room? Here? I mean, besides myself, my assistant, and the big guy over your shoulder? Maybe you hear uh, muffled talking, or uh, maybe you just get uh, the sense that someone is nearby? Katie! Where's my Katie? We'll get to her, Mr. The woman in the red dress in the ad, do you see her anywhere? What? No. Not here? Not here. And now, do you see or hear the woman in red in this room with us? I don't see anyone else. What is this? Delta two self-report, zero reception from a powered catalyst, meaning Delta one is responsible for their connection. I don't understand. Who are you people? This is a business, Mr. Perez. One that happens to own a lot of specialty clinics for kids, like Katie. Pharmacies, too, Red Sunsets more recently. Owning the right things is kind of our specialty. Red Sunset Cigarettes, a Pantheon brand, bringing you the future faster. That's my car. A statement from the Sheriff's Department claims it is only a matter of time before For the suspect is apprehended. Investigators searching Mr. Perez's most recent known residence found no evidence of the other missing children. 
it's not true, Sam. I would know if my dad killed people. You know I would. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just dealing with some family stuff right now. And I thought the air would clear my head. Sure. Just stay inside the rope if you decide to dip your toes. Get steep awful quick out there. Not another one. She's definitely not renting a kayak. I'm not trolling the whole damn lake again just because of some sad kid. I don't need a kayak or anything. I'll stick to shore. Of course not. Not the best day for it. Just be careful out there. Oh, good. She got rid of him. Smart kid. Shame about her dad, though. Five counties involved in the manhunt. I hear. She won't believe it. She knows I could never do it. She doesn't know what really happened, Mr. Perez. All she knows is that you were not in your motel room. And a corpse was. She knows I would be there for her. Well, you aren't. So she knows it's just her and the voices. Although, thanks to a little hiccup at the pharmacy, it's getting worse than just voices. There is a purpose to all this, Mr. Perez, but we don't have much time. The only reason your daughter is in danger is because we believe you can save her, just like you did that time at the train station. We don't have much data on range, so right now you two are closer than when you got separated that day. I got lucky, that's all. I followed the route. <laughs> she could have gotten off anywhere. And she wandered several blocks from the station? <laughs> Luck seems somewhat insufficient. That trip to the city was quite the calculated risk. Lots of voices downtown. She got lost. I found her. It was pure luck. A miracle, maybe. Still want to smoke? I'm cold, Katie. Can I get a light? It wasn't him, Sam. It wasn't my dad. But he's not coming back either way. What do you want? I don't even know you. Please, stop this. She's just a kid. The pills are supposed to help her with her, with her condition. I can personally guarantee no invasive procedures. Just a handful of minor tests and demonstrations, then all the accusations go away, and you can rebuild your lives. I know how horrible and unfair this is, but extreme stress reliably results in stronger impressions. The pills are metabolically inert, so she won't be able to overdose. That same active ingredient, only powdered. The stone hears whispers just like Katie. She better hope that the lake hasn't claimed too many lives over the years, because at that dosage, she is about to meet them all. How can you do this? She needed help. She doesn't have to die today. You can convince her to ditch the rocks and the pills and just get in the car and drive away. It's that easy. 
You're monsters. I don't want to be a monster, Mr. Perez. I really, truly want your daughter to turn back and live. We just need you to tell her to stop. You have to reach out to her. She's terrified and alone and who knows what she's experiencing out there. Even if I could, I wouldn't. I know how this ends. We have free access to the Pantheon Group's financial resources. Just save her, sign some papers, and walk away a millionaire. Imagine the kind of future Katie could have. Imagine she has any future at all. Now, send her a signal. <laughs> just call the ranger! She's not magic, she just hears voice. She's almost over her head! If you don't intervene right now, she drowns for your viewing pleasure! Oh, God! Katie! Just her breath, last chance! Call out to her! Screw you and your, and your cameras and your staff and your suit! You get nothing from us but blood on your hands. I know this seems unjustifiable, but you have to believe me. I am the lesser evil in this situation. The market demands we rise to the level of our competition in order to survive, and all the players' ambitions are not limited to media patents and quarterly returns. I don't know how to do what you want. I don't know. I can take things public right under his nose, but I need recorded proof by noon tomorrow, Pacific time. Last chance! Save her! <clears throat> Sir, uh, the materials department called. They did an inventory. They noticed the missing catalyst. Inventory in the weekend? Did they inform the chairman? They're threatening to. Ah. Indefinite hiatus starting Monday. Grab the tapes. Nothing leaves your sight until I have zero exposure. I gotta find a way to smooth over the old man. I'm nearly out of excuses for canceling anyway. I'll tell him. I, I took the catalyst. I signed off on test security. Nobody knows you're here. I'll, I'll just say I was trying to win this quarter's productivity bonus. We need a better story than that, Joey, but you're right, as usual. I can't risk having him in my head. Just... I already turned the cameras off. It's too late, Mr. Perez. The experiment is over. Leave the tapes to me. Try to make contact if you end up on the board. Cleanse the area. Return to normal duty when we get back. Payroll? Usual drop. Can I get a light? Katie! I'm so sorry. Just know that I love you and that I would be there if I could. Shame. <laughs> ah, you just cost me a bet. Don't you have work to do, Rupert? Ah, the chairman can pick his own stocks. I am strictly in an expensive formality. 
You think anyone's told him yet? He already knows already. <laughs> Nothing goes on behind his back, literally. I have literally never seen his back. Well, he hasn't called yet, so I'm technically still turning myself in. What are the odds that I end up clearing out my desk? I had to buy controlling interest of Red Sunsets because he heard your gal pal was doing their marketing. That's the kind of referral that lands troublemakers like you on the board of directors. Well, in that case, I'll send you a postcard from Gilded Purgatory. I'm gonna hold you to that. None of the other gifted embarrassments return my calls. <laughs> Holy shit! If you just tape over them, just lease them out. No more finite supply issues. Is that what you were up to? Just a few last minute tests. No, oh, definitely lead with that. I sold you smug bastards my shares for this. She was my wife, and you gave me a commercial. Why would I want to share my bedchamber with a brand that I don't even own? Look, I'm deeply sorry you were unable to attend her passing, but terminal recordings are essential, and you both signed off on the copy. Now, with time and the proper emotional context... The emotional you context, can... my ass! I can see the pain in her eyes, even when she's chirping your ad copy. She should have been in a proper hospital with proper doctors. You're damn lucky most of my lawyers went for the company. Don't let the memories fade. Take a step beyond photographs and home movies. Preserve the essence of your beloved, available to comfort and remind you day or night. Introducing Memento Morials, the future of the bereavement industry. Memento Morials let you experience the sounds and even images of your loved one with full interactivity. Don't settle for inert marble as a memorial. Choose Memento Morio, the ultimate monument, coming soon from Pantheon, bringing you the future faster.